That's good shot. Outfield is very fast. Oh, shot. What a good shot. Very quickly into this. Great shot before. That's where the spectator can come into his own. It's a wonderful shot. It's a beautiful stroke by Bevan. Big chance for him today. His first opportunity to get in early in a limited overs game. There's that chip shot, very, very well played. And uh, back for the second, and that uh, brings up his 50. In the circumstances, a good innings. Oh, that's a good shot, magnificently played. That's the shot of the match so far. Beautifully placed, just wide of Michael Gatting. Yeah, I'm sure you I've, I've seen him feel, I promise you, hand on heart, I say that I've seen him feel brilliantly at the Hampshire in England. Looking to chip it away into a gap. He does that beautifully played, Greg Blur. Fine enough. Was contained early, didn't panic, broke the shackles by going over the top. 150 partnership in good style. Sweeps, gets the way, beautiful off the top edge, go all the way for four. Chris Lewis to ball his fourth over. He's worked in there. Thorpe, oh, that's a bounce as well. Well, they're not really attacking the ball, they're lacking confidence. Tom is gone, should be out surely this time Thorpe. He's got him. Yes, he rolled. Thorpe held that one. And that's what they needed in England. Good holding out for a magnificent 113 hitting straight. Now he's ripping Thorpe. Not another one, surely. Oh, he's hit that one as well. That's on one bounce, two bounce into the fence. When he's hot, he's really hot, this fellow. Gets over his bat. One to get for his hundred in the same number of balls. That's it. Beautifully played. Magnificent innings from Bevan. Back for the second. 101 in 100 balls. Not only will Michael Bevan remember this for a long time, but all of those at the SCG will too. Four balls to go. One's been played away on the offside. No one's moving at the moment. The fieldsman didn't pick it up. It's gone down to the boundary for four. Oh, he's caught and bowled. Yes, that's it. He's hit it straight back at the bowler. That's well taken too. Trying to work it away. That one's gone straight back to Udo, who's made the catch. Let's have another look. That was a great performance from the Australian A side. Two lovely innings there from Blewett, who's uh, certainly shown terrific form since being noticed and selected by uh, the selectors. And also Michael Bevan, who's been out of touch and got back into form with a vengeance here today. Five for 264, Australia A. Hayden out for four, Blewett 113 and 105 for Bevan. Langer 16 was just dominated by those two batsmen. Five for 264, their partnership 157 from 169 balls and it was terrific to watch for this capacity crowd and uh, for millions of television viewers. 5 for 264 and the England bowlers, well the fielders and the bowlers gave way there. Angus Fraser bowled very well, 10 overs, one made none for 36 and Phil De Freitas one for 43. But Lewis had 48 taken from 6 overs, Udell 56 from 10, Hick had 40 from 8 and Graham Gooch 34 from 6. That left England with two chances of getting into the finals. They either had to score 265 and win the match, or they had to reach a target of 237 to get them into the finals on a better net run. 
Australia A need three wickets. England needs 29 runs, four overs to be bowled. That's well struck. Going out towards Long on George coming around, misses it. Four runs. The first big miss field by this Australian A side concedes two extra runs. Gone. Oh, that was the difference. Just when you need to hit straight, he tries to hit it over mid wicket. They've done this all night. The straight is on 12, batting sensibly. Doesn't hit straight, but it's bowled as clean as a whistle. He gets it down that way. And that's four. It's always a danger when the right arm bowler bowling over the wicket. Udall took him on, cleared the man, make the tie, and it raced away for four. He's on 14. Lewis. And that's going out to mid wicket. It'll be at least two. They may go for three. Oh, Lewis slips. He's in real trouble. He's gone. Oh, rifle doesn't take it. Can you believe that? That's the situation. The Englishman sitting in front of their rooms. Alex Stewart, Damien Martin, having a bit of a huddle there. Paul Wright with the ball, the final over. He's hit it in the mid-wicket. He, he could get two or three here. He's through for two. Noodle's going very quickly there back. And it's three off the first delivery. That puts him in with a real chance. Noodle's got to get the strike back to Lewis. Oh, he's given in. Oh, well, there you go. It was very full. He loses his strike, Chris Lewis. He doesn't get up there. Umpire here officiating. We're fairly, fairly straight. Tried to whip it on the onside. That could be the end for England. Well, I mentioned that his experience might pay off for Rifle. Bowling straight on the principle that when the batsman misses, he's out. LBWR bowl. And he walked right across his stumps, right in front. I don't think there's much doubt about that. He's got that down at third man. They take the single. Well, that's what they needed to do. There's nobody at mid-wicket. He's hit it down. Look at pass mid on. Oh, Fraser. Oh, he's got him. He's run out. He's out. Joey. Doesn't even call for the photo. I think mid-wicket or straight if he can hit it. And hope for an edge that goes to four, I think. It's gone somewhere. It hasn't gone far enough. And Australia A are in the final of the Benson Hedges World Series for 94-95. And what a finish. That's a terrific performance from the Australian A side. They kept England down to two runs below that 237 they needed. Everyone got a start for England. 17 for Gooch, 20 for Atherton, 35 for Hicks, 24 for Thorpe, and 37 Crawley, who was top scorer. Rhodes and Lewis looked as though they might do it. Lewis hung on there. He was 22 not out. But in the end, it was just a little bit too much for England and a brilliant performance by Damien Martin's side. Now, the bowling figures for Australia, they tell a tale there. Shane George bowled very well. 10 overs, one made, and one for 33. Blewett had 44 taken from eight overs, but picked up a wicket in a good all-round performance. Rifle two wickets and Hughes two as well.